I'm here in my tub to uh, discuss some of the topics of our latest Raiders meeting once again. Now these are focused on relaxation techniques. I've got some bath salts over here and a symbolic rubber ducky. I didn't have an actual rubber ducky so I'm using a rubber chicken. And I'm letting some water run. And here's proof of the effects of the rubber chicken in the background. So uh, I'll talk about a little bit about the technique relaxing depicted in one of the stories which was combined with relaxing music and the sound of running water. It was about someone trying to design a relaxing environment inside an apartment that didn't quite accommodate it and the water started to leak and various things started to go wrong. And music wasn't appreciated as well as it could have been by the neighbors and oh it didn't end well. But that brought up another subject on the topic of highly sensitive people which is the, the interlink with criminality. When they don't get to relax, they, they can get pretty nasty. And they also tend to attract criminality, which brings up the question of whether people who are highly sensitive are criminal because they haven't found an outlet for their sensitivity. They haven't found a way to engage in the creative people, the creative print activities that a lot of people use as a release from having high sensitivity. Now, these sorts of characters are natural for storytelling because one of the, the really useful devices of people who are like this is they attract people who want to spill their guts to them. They'll run up to them and tell them their most intimate secrets right off the bat, which really gets your story going in a hurry. In one case, the opening line was, I just got out of prison. So, uh, and the other one was, uh, I'm a religious person of such and such a, a sect. These are opening lines, mind you, the first things that one character tells another. So it wastes no time at all in getting the story started. There is also a story about being in the bathtub and washing everything except what you set out to wash in the first place and leaving your hair untouched like my messy hair that I've got here. And there was a story about, or a poem, I should say, about being almost properly dressed for the weather but leaving one part untouched and and being uncomfortable because there's that one part of you that just isn't quite properly dressed. There is also some talk about highly insensitive people and who could just like sleep through anything that you things that are so loud and, and so uh, uh, raucous that you'd ne expect nobody would never be able to do it and then yep these things were found relaxing by some people. So there's also a phenomenon that uh, one character was considered to find judges and policemen's voices relaxing. And so this, I thought this would make the uh, ultimate crime fighter in that uh, sensitive criminals would come right up and, and confess their crimes and then fall asleep on the spot. So those were some of the ways that the concept of a highly sensitive person led to some good output for this group meeting and I hope other people out there who I'm trying to notify uh, can avoid being overwhelmed long enough to watch this and see that there's an excellent way for you to connect with similar people who either are sensitive or are very good at simulating being sensitive and understanding it simply by virtue of being writers.